Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to another Welsh Christopher Robin vlog. If for those of you that are new, I'm the Robin of the Welsh Christopher Robin, um, and please subscribe, click the notification bell. Vlogs all the time, mostly in the week at six o'clock on a Saturday, to be honest. But I hope you've all had a really great week. Um, how are we in November already? What the heck happened, hey? God, this year's flown by, and I've just noticed there's something on the chair that I've got the camera on, so I'll put that there. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a sort of haul, haul, I don't know where it came from, um, and just show you what I've been buying over the last couple of weeks. I have got my Welsh um, Starbucks mug that I bought on holiday, I don't know if I've shown you this yet, but it's very, I love it, it's huge for a starter, so it gives it a lot of coffee in it. But you've got lots of viaduct, wheels, there's a rugby ball, what else have we got? A Welsh hat, the dragon, a daffodil, mm, Dione, mm, delightful. So I will be getting um, hopefully another one of these while we're over in um, Disney. If you've watched our vlogs, I don't know if we've mentioned, we're going to Disney, hopefully, fingers crossed. So what have I got for you? I've got three shops for you, um, Disney, or Shop Disney, um, Primark and Home Bargains, so a real classy um, sort of joint. So let's get Home Bargains done first. That's very much sort of like housey stuff, so let's get straight into that. So um, I, this is the beginning of November, by the way, that I went shopping here. So I got, I love a bit of Zaflora. I don't know if you can see those. So I got, these are new, I don't think I've seen these before. It's a multi-purpose disinfectant cleaner, black currant and jasmine. And then I also got, Oh, one's a flora, one's fabuloso, fabulosa, whatever. It's not like Harry Potter. Um, it's an ultra foaming freshener and sanitizer for the sink. Um, and this one is Fresh Breeze because I don't know about anybody else, but I can smell stuff. Ever since I had Leah, my sense of smell is practically superhero esque level. It's um, wild. So I like to have clean sinks. Um, I've shown these before on vlogs. Um, it's the Dead Sea Collection, it's the Almond Vanilla Mineral Bubble Bath and the Dead Sea Collection Bar Salt Coconut. Absolutely love them both very, very much. So I would highly recommend you get those. And it is home bargain, so they're not expensive. Happy times. Then, um, we all know I love a coffee. If you're new to the channel, I love coffee. So I thought I would try this Costa coffee. I normally have like the, um, what's the other, uh, like the orangey one, I've forgotten. But this is a Costa coffee one, Intense Dark Roast. Very excited about that, not gonna lie. So yeah, it's four on the strength indicator, so that's the level I need to work out these days. Got that. I then got, um, very much for the kids, some Kinder cards. We love Kinder in this house, and I hadn't seen those before, so again, I thought they were nice as a little treat. Um, sort of moving on then, when I'm feeling adventurous with the kids, um, Mr. Kipling, exceedingly good cakes. I've got this new range out. It's a sort of, you know, it's how I like to bake. Add some milk, eggs, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's a space chocolate cake, so I thought Liam would quite like to do that with the blue vanilla um, sort of topping. So I thought we could do that on a weekend. Very exciting. Mummy points for me. Then, um, again, we do like hot chocolate. So I got just some of the sachets. I thought the kids could do those themselves then. Um, they're always so cheap. I love these Garnier moisture masks. I don't know why I only ever buy one at a time. Strange. But I got the uh, super hydrating anti-fatigue because if you will have seen our vlog that we did at the pumpkin batch, oh my God, my crow's feet were hideous to the point where I just did an order on Charlotte Tilbury yesterday. So when I get that order, I'll show that to you as well. But hopefully that's going to hydrate me and plump out my crow's feet. Um, then I bought these things. These are a bit weird, but I have just had one. Grabower white kisses phone kisses with white vanilla flavored coating it's basically like chocolate with marshmallow in the middle and they look like this they look like little ghosts basically so but they're only 84 calories each and there's a little sweet treat thought we'd give those a whirl why not then very much moving into christmas liam has these in like his pat lunches and stuff like the little sort of packs of cookies and things um, and these are the Where's My Elf? So they're basically little chocolate biscuits, but they come in the little um, sort of packs, if I show you. So perfect for December pack lunches. So yeah, six mini bags. You will very much enjoy these. 
And then, um, because I've discovered that my children don't actually watch vlogs anymore, so some of these are Christmas presents. Um, I haven't decided if this is Erin or Liam, but they both love Oreos. And um, it's home bargains, they're not expensive at all. It's their Oreo sort of selection, festive favourites, with an original, a white enrobed, a golden and a milk enrobed. There they are on the back. So yeah, so that was me home bargains um, haul. Did I get anything else maybe? I can't remember. Oh, I think I got a Reese's peanut, God, what's happened to my hair? Reese's peanut butter um, chocolate bar thing, but um, I might have eaten that on the way though. Anyway, um, let's move on then to Primani, shall we? Here we go. So, again, there's some Christmassy things in here, but as my kids have abandoned watching it, I'm going to show them anyway. So, first up, fake nails, Grinch esque ones. Love them. They're £2.50. Hopefully you'll be able to see. I love the design. Clearly they're not for Liam. Then um, I thought I would do something with these. These were only a pound. They're basically Santa. I've been nice approved chocolate queens. I think they were like a quid each as well. Not expensive. Um, the kids, I should have got them down, but they're up in the attic. I've got, um, I've got their Christmas pyjamas sorted. I got them from, I want to say very... Um, so we've got the same matching pyjamas. They may well be a theme. So we've got these for Erin as well. They're kind of like slipper socks. Really cosy. Um, £4.50 they were. Grinch-esque ones in the ladies' department. <clears throat> um, sort of stocking fillers. Erin's birthday is December as well. Um, so picked up one of the sets that if you watch any Primark sort of hauls, everybody does these sets but I made sure not to get a thong because I thought that was slightly inappropriate for a 14 year old so um, yeah just one of their matching sets five quid I love that colour it's so nice kind of like a plummy almost like a puce maybe if that was the colour got that um then I picked up some cozy socks for me because I wanted some for the plane have I mentioned that we're going to Disney hopefully at the end of this month so yes, I got some nice Christmas ones, £2.50, easy. I get really cold toes, I get very warm in the body, cold in the toe. Anyway, moving on. Um, I then picked up, now I know when you fly, because um, we're flying hopefully premium economy, you do get a blanket, but I don't like sharing blankets if I, you get my drift. So I treated myself to this one. It's a Disney one, six quid, very soft. This is the sort of pattern. Um, sort of Mickey faces and things like this. So this I'm going to take in my hand luggage, hopefully. Um, and we will do a sort of pack with us type haul very shortly. And that will go in. But yeah, look at this little Christmas face. Cute. Love that. Um, then picked up, really basic, one of their teas. Um, got it in a large, 14 to 16. This was five quid. I just quite liked it. I'm kind of into like monochrome at the moment, just black and white, quite simple, nice. Then I picked up, um, again for layering, just a black and white striped monochrome again, long sleeve top. Um, I did get it in an extra large this time, just to make sure I could put something underneath it. And this was £4.50. Can't go wrong, can you? Carrying on the Disney train. I picked up another hoodie as well. This was this was only 12 quid, but it's a zip. It's not really a hoodie because I haven't got a hood. More like a jumper, shall we say. Um, but it's got a really cute sort of zip. And then that's the detail on the front. Sort of cream colour. Disney original, Teen Champions. I just quite like the zip and the fact that it wasn't a hoodie. I thought it was quite nice and it is a bit oversized. So that's dreamy. Then the piece de resistance of my Primark haul this week this month is wait for it the drum roll da, 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 a mickey waffle maker oh man this went straight in the basket chris and Aaron think i'm nuts it was 22 quid so it's not overly cheap i don't think but i just think the novelty for me is going to be wild so yes i'm going to get the kids to do that this weekend um makes one mickey waffle maker i've seen quite a few people on sort of social media and stuff with this um, and I think it makes fairly decent waffles, so we'll try and vlog it or pop it on Instagram or something. But um, yeah, very excited about a waffle maker. Ding. So yeah, that was um, Primark. So 
moving swiftly from Disney Primark over to actual shop Disney. You will have seen it in the image. We're not, I don't want to get loads from Disney obviously for Christmas because hopefully, fingers crossed, I feel like shooting myself, I've mentioned it a million times, we are going to Disney hopefully at the end of November, but I couldn't resist this one. The 50th um, castle, I mean there's a huge big Cinderella castle and there's like 100 quid. This was 30 quid so I actually thought it was not too bad, but I just think the Mickey is so cute down there and the castle and it's the 50th. It's 21 centimetres tall by 14 centimetres wide, so it's not huge. Um, but yeah, it's got the 50th stuff on there. I just think it's really nice, really nice keepsake. Again, we might do that in the morning that we make the Mickey waffles and then do some Lego at the same time. I enjoy the thought of it. Um, but yeah, I thought that was super cute and really nice sort of keepsake. Obviously, Chris and I are going. Um, it's actually our honeymoon, if you're new to the vlog, that we're going at the end of November. So that's super cute. Um, moving on then to some Christmas stuff. This is a gift, um, but the person, they might know who it's for if they watched it, but I doubt it. But it's the sloth from Zootropolis. We love Zootropolis in this house. Um, and this is just so apt for the person that we've bought it for. It was 15 quid. I am going to get some uh, Christmas decorations when we're out there. But um, yeah, I just didn't want to risk not being able to find this one out there because that's definitely a gift that somebody is getting so we thought he was super cute love him then the final bits from shop disney then are sort of bags and um sort of a bit of wrapping really so it's all their festive collection um and i think it's called waltz lodge i can't remember it's i'll link it all down below but i got a couple of different bags um and a box as well so this really cute little bag is perfect for sort of, I think, almost like my pat lunches and stuff for work. I did, I bought one for myself. So you get like the bottom of it to go in, which is very handy, or if you've got little gifts and stuff like that, a little gift, I think it would fit in really nice. There's the sort of festive gusset, shall we say. And yeah, there's Mickey and Minnie doing a bit of caroling. So got that one. Then I got a box, um, and I don't want to put it out too far because I don't actually want to put it up. But yeah, kind of that size, sort of medium sized. Um, so I have got an idea of what is going in that. So I won't say what that is at the moment. Then, um, I'll show you that one in a minute. Then I got the bigger bag. Um, and again, I know exactly what is going in here. Um, for when the kids, again, it's kind of got the bottom in it to hold the bottom. But this one, um, Mickey and Minnie are skating. Still got the really nice sort of bit down the side yeah i think it's super cute i really like them um and it looked really nice under the tree which is all important isn't it and then because i spent um maybe over 30 quid i think i can't remember what you had to you've got a free alice in wonderland design bag which is designed by i think it is somebody quite famous who's designed it in like the disney world I'm really letting myself down now as no Disney expert but it's just a really nice bag I think so I'm kind of going to put it away and keep it for maybe while we're out there next May and use it as sort of like a beach bag or a pool bag and stuff like that so yeah that was that and actually I've got a little bonus little bonus goodies only two little things from Tesco would you believe it so our kitchen and stuff is grey um, and we needed some new festive mats um, as in like placemats. So I picked up two packs of these, just kind of like snowflake ones, and then they're felt. If you can see sort of grey felt. So I've got two packs of those, and they were, bear with me. Oh, that's money off receipt. I can't find them, but I'll find out how much they were. That's no problem. And then I also got the coasters to match, because I thought they were very cute as well. And then also a little Christmas decoration that I thought was super cute for the kitchen was um, a Father Christmas. It's almost like a sort of cement, if that makes sense, and then sort of coloured. And then it's got sort of, it's faux succulents in the top. But I really liked it. I thought he was really cute. He was, let me have a look here. I have the receipts. The succulent was £8. Um, the big coasters were £8 for a pack of four. And then the little, um, the little coasters were £3. 
So yeah, so I thought that was quite nice for Christmas. So yeah, so we are definitely sort of underway with our Christmas shopping in this house and getting bits and bobs. So yeah, I'll try and link everything below. Um, but yeah, comment, have you started your Christmas shopping yet? Have you even thought about it? Um, yeah, I'm trying to get hold of Liam's present at the moment, which is proving to be a bit tricky. So I'm keeping my BDI out for that. But um, yeah, as always, please subscribe. Um, Give us a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it and you like seeing sort of shopping hauls and things like that. Click the notification bell and um, yeah, follow us over on the Welsh Christopher Robin on Instagram. Hope you have a really great week, guys, and um, see you the same time, same place, six o'clock next Saturday. Bye.